all right the case is yeah this is the rear and as you probably know you have you have this retention bracket that goes the entire width of the case that that locks the uh, uh, expansion cards and um, it's held in place by two screws here on the side I've removed them and uh, then it just sort of pops out like this not up but out yeah it's pretty sturdy and um, <clears throat> the tray is held in place by two thumb screws spring thumb screws and then you can let's see if I can do this uh, you should be able to slide the motherboard tray up and now I'm going to have some problems first of all uh, this case doesn't take all coolers this Noctua just fits but as you can see I haven't oh sorry as you can see I haven't put the uh, fan on so it, it just sits here it's not mounted in place and that's because if I do mount it in place I won't be able to clear this um, so what I'm looking at doing is mounting the retention brackets for the fan after it sits inside the case and that gets a bit tricky so let's get this out of the way then I should be able to clear it actually let's just pop it down here um, this is not an, an easy case if I'm honest there are some design issues um, but I think it looks good when it's assembled then we have the front panel cables and especially the audio connector which is on the this board is down here that's gonna be a problem it's already pretty tight so I'm gonna pop that out like this and here we go further problems with the front panel connectors they just aren't long enough it's already taut and I'm only about what 10 centimeters out of the case so no you are not able to disconnect everything uh, sorry pull out your motherboard tray without disconnecting anything simply will not work and next problem sorry about that is the power connectors on the graphics cards they do clear but you have to tilt your cards not ideal you could also simply well simply you could fiddle with the cables after it's inside I think I actually did that last time let's see sorry as you can see it sticks I'm gonna yeah and now I jam these pins this is why I'm gonna replace it with a I'm gonna replace the entire cable so it's longer and the plug so it's an uh, this IDC connector that hopefully fits once I get this side trimmed so we'll just live in here I'm hoping that's the plan and now we have the problem yeah so we're out this is for the big boy fan it comes with a molex connector down here and the other molex connector with the, the other red and black wire is for the what is it 92 millimeter fan at the front so this is not easy when you're a righty hang on So now that that's taken care of, we should be good to go. Oh, sorry, one more, and that's the front panel 
SATA connector. Yeah, and that doesn't have a lock, fortunately. So, yeah, that goes easily. This is as far as the motherboard tray will extend. Um, the instructions are a bit unclear about this. They say there's a locking pin. Uh, this uh, rail system is kind of like on servers. It's a bit, uh, I think they obviously drew inspiration from it. But there's only one of these clips and they don't tell you that in the instructions. And I believe they, yeah, they tell you it's on the left side, but it's on the left side from the front. So, yeah, pull this down and grab the tray. slides out with ease. Well, it slides out at least. And we're free. This is, strictly speaking, this wasn't necessary. I just wanted to show it to you guys. So, this is the tray with everything except for the fan and the power buttons and who cares you could run it like this uh, people who say well it's a shitty t test bench yeah but you could run it like this and you would still get a uh, the ability to mount it inside the rest of the case um, I don't care I didn't buy it because I wanted a test bench I just thought it looked cool 